Simplicity. Things do not get more simple by themselves over time. Things get more and more complex. We add to what we're doing, we add something, we add something else, things get more and more complex. There is no natural route to simplicity. So we need to make an effort to simplify things. Now, simplicity is not the same as efficiency. It is as important as efficiency. It is indeed even more important than efficiency because simplicity can greatly reduce costs, greatly reduce stress, greatly reduce complexity of operations. So we need to make an effort to say, can this be done more simply? And the various techniques, ways of looking at things, extracting a concept and finding other ways to deliver what that concept delivers, and there are formal processes and tools which can be used. You can set up within an organization a simplicity team which sets out, sets out to apply these processes to every part of an organization's behavior. And it's surprising how much time can be saved, money can be saved, stress can be saved by finding simpler ways of doing things. I'll give you a very simple example of simplicity. A tennis tournament and singles and 64 people want to play and you say, how many games are needed? Well, most people would sit down and say there's a final and semi-finals and quarter-finals and so on. The answer is if there's 64 players, there's one winner, there's 63 losers, there must be 63 games. Much, much simpler way of doing it. So simplicity is a key value and unfortunately a very neglected value in business because we assume that if something's there, it's important and it grows, becomes more complex all the time and we need periodically to stand back, focus on that operation, that process and say, yes, that's fine, can we make it more simple? Sometimes you may have to trade off certain values. You may have to say, yes, we can make it more simple if we don't require that type of operation as well. So it's the effort and the skill of simplifying which in the future is going to be very key and which traditionally is not part of business thinking. Part of business thinking is to grow, to develop, to generate, to be efficient, but not necessarily to be simple. And yet simple both in terms of the people who have to do it and in terms of saving money and in terms of saving time, simplicity is very key. And the sets of tools, the sets of attitudes, the sets of concepts dealing with simplicity can be taught as a formal training course so that people can acquire this skill, develop this skill and apply it to any part of a business or any part of any operation, whether it's business or public service, in order to simplify procedures, to make them easier for those using the procedures and easier for those delivering the procedures. Simplicity is a skill which can be applied deliberately.